know it's sad. Heartbreaking. Tragic news in Clover Lake County this morning. It's all over the news. Everyone's talking about it. You got the sheriff's office, Luther Police Department, everyone at the crime scene. But they still can't determine an official cause of death? She was murdered, you guys! Get your shit together and find the psycho who did it. Give me a badge, and I'll help. But we'll all help. Am I right? It's crazy. Unbelievable. Now, for those of you just tuning in, a woman's body was found around 8.30 this morning. She was wrapped in a large plastic bag where so-called heroes are there now, and they won't release anything other than a woman's name, which is 22-year-old Sarah Loomis. I mean, I knew her. A lot of us did. She was awesome. Sarah was awesome. And it's just sad. Really sad. you want me to say. I mean, you keep asking the same questions. I loved her. I love her. We broke up. That's it. Was I angry? Yes. Did I call into work today because I was angry? Yes. But I stayed home all day, all night. And then you guys called and said she was I want to believe you, Ethan. I really do. But your version of- My the version! Thing. It's what happened! God damn it, you keep asking the same questions and you keep asking them. But my story, my version, hasn't changed. Then you say Sarah texted you. Yes. She asked if we could talk. And you said? I didn't say anything. I never replied. Because you were angry? Yes, I was angry and hurt. I still am, but I didn't kill her. That is the question here, isn't it? The real question you want to ask me, did I kill Sarah? Eventually. No, detective. I did not kill Sarah. I could never hurt her, ever. Because you love her? I did. I do. I love her. I've always loved her. You can ask anyone. I did actually speak with a few of her friends, co-workers, and that's why I'm a little confused. They're saying Sarah was the one who was angry and hurt. No. They're saying Sarah broke up with you. Sarah cheated on me, and I broke up with her. That's what happened. That's why I didn't respond to her. That's why I called in today. That's why I wasn't there the night she was fucking killed. Because I wasn't there. I don't care what anyone says. Okay, and as for Sarah's friends, I assume you mean Darcy. You know, the fun friend who likes to fuck everything up for everyone else because she has no life. Is that who you're talking about? Is that who you talked to? Did Sarah actually say who broke up with who? No. Because Sarah doesn't tell anyone anything, especially when it's her fault. Why? It's just an excuse for her to light up. It'll just make the people around her feel sorry for her. It's like this... It's like this twisted illusion of her guilt. And she knows it. And she knows how to use it to get what she wants. She's used it on Darcy. She's used it on me. She's used it. Sarah's not a bad person. She just... She has issues. <laughs> Had issues. <laughs> I have no further questions. We should... 
You should go home. Try to get some sleep. Thank you for your cooperation. It's the boyfriend, guys. You know, it's always the boyfriend. Or lover, or obsessed stalker. Always. And seriously, how many more bodies do they need to find? This is like the fifth body they found in a series of slayings that occurred throughout Clover Lake County within the last five months. The Clover Lake Killer is what we're calling him, which is fucking stupid, right? I mean, what the hell is going on here? Don't give this asshole a name. Catch him, kill him, and put him in the ground. The killer's still out there, folks. And to be honest, that scares the shit out of me.